Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the common no response and waiting for any device error that may occur when using Fastboot 2 on Windows. This error simply means that your PC is not properly dictating your Android device while in bootloader or Fastboot mode. This error is not something you should worry about as it can easily be fixed with a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So for this guide, you actually need to download some files. You need to download the Microsoft Visual C++ package and you also need a USB driver. You find links to both files in the video description and when you click the Microsoft Visual C++ link, it should bring you to this page. Now you click on the download button and then you choose um, the VC Redis x64 for a 64-bit PC and if you have a 32-bit PC, you go for the second option. I already have this downloaded on my PC, I'm just, going to, I'm just showing you how you can download it on yours. I'm going to close this and then open the second tab. We have the USB driver for Windows. Also, you click on the download button in the top right corner. And once you're done downloading, you minimize your browser and then open your download folder. Here you can see both files. So the next thing to do is you install the VC Redist file, you accept the license agreement and click on install. Here you can see it says I already have um, a version of the product installed. So I'm just going to close this. And the next thing we need to do is um, you extract the USB driver from the zip file. Right click on it, I'm going to use WinRAR and extract. Now once the file has finished extracting, I'm going to open the folder, open the USB driver folder and you'll have all these files present in the USB driver folder. Now we actually don't need to use any of this now so I'm going to minimize and then the next thing you get to do is um, you open your device manager. So from our search menu, I'm just going to type device manager. Okay, now open the device manager. Let me bring that to the center. Now also, we are not going to use this now, so I'm just going to minimize as well. So um, the next thing we need to do is um, you open your Windows terminal and then you boot your device into bootloader mode. I'm going to do that using the ADB reboot bootloader command. My device is now rebooting into bootloader mode. Now, once the device is in fast boot mode, you open up the device manager and you give it the moment to load. Once the drivers are loaded, you should see your device listed as Android in our device manager and you should see this icon that shows that there is an issue with our device communicating with PC. Right click on the Android and click on update driver. Choose browse my computer for driver and then let me pick from available drivers. Select next and make sure you are having it on show all devices. Click on app disk. Now click on browse. Now from here you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the, browse, um, the drivers. So I'm going to go to, um, I think, home, yes, and then um, download. Now USB driver, click on USB driver and then select the Android win.i.inf, win.usb.inf. Now click OK. Now click on the Android ADB interface and click next. Now click yes. Now accept, also click install. I give it a moment to install. Now the driver successfully installed. Now close this. And you should see your, drive, your device will be listed as Android ADB interface. Now minimize the device manager. Now if I run the same command that I showed you in the beginning of this video, my device should be detected in fast boot mode. As you can see, my device has been listed and I'm guessing this is my device ID. So I'm going to go ahead and flash my device LK image to show you that now my device is working in fast boot properly. So using fast boot, flash LK, LK verify.img hit enter and as you can see the process was successful and my device is communicating with uh, my PC without any problem so that wraps it up for this guide on how to fix waiting for any device password error I hope these troubleshooting steps has helped you get your Android device properly detected so that you can unlock a bootloader, flash custom ROMs, or make other system modifications. Click on the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.